one of the things I, I, I know about amendments is that down through the years, amendments have added to the lives of people. They've never, uh, and if they have, uh, you know, denied people their rights, then the amendments did not make it into the Constitution. And the stand and position that I'm taking is, is based on the Constitution of the United States of America, where it says that all men are created equal, and that all of us are endowed with certain inalienable rights. Amen. Now, an inalienable right is a right that is not transferable, a right that is not negotiable, a right that all men, women, boys, and girls have. Amen. And so if you, you, you cannot take an inalienable right and attach it to one group of people, and take it away from another group of people. That's constitutional. If this amendment, this anti-gay amendment, gets into, it, if it's passed, then it is going to virtually write discrimination into the Constitution, and what's going to happen is that it's going to set a precedent against uh, people who've been marginalized, uh, people who have been dehumanized, and it's going to cause a regression over this state like we are not ready for. And if we stand on the Constitution, then we would be those who would stand on the side of all people who are marginalized. Oh, whatever your thinking is, whatever your personal issues are, are yours. They're yours. But let's be clear in what is happening here. And the illegality, if you will, the uh, unlawfulness, of something like this uh, getting written into our Constitution is just, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. And we just ask that you would continue to pray much for your pastor as he stands on the forefront or on the front lines of this battle, this justice battle for all people. Let the church say amen. amen. God still is moving and God's still going to change our thoughts and change our minds, even despite the fact that we don't want the, our minds to be changed. God, God, that's the way God works. I trust in the Spirit of God to move as the Spirit of God moves and will continue to move to bring justice to this, to, to this situation, just like he brought justice to the situation of the African Americans, just like he brought justice to the situation of interracial marriage, just like he's going to bring justice to everything he brings justice to in his own time.